Hi there. Who are you? What do you do? So I'm Rob. I work for MSF in London. I'm a public health specialist on secondment to MSF for a year. Fantastic. And what are you going to show us now? Okay, so this is uh, an electronic medical record that was designed by a team in London. Okay. Uh, it's designed to replace paper records at the bedside, mm -hmm. and it's designed to work in some of the difficult environments that MSF works in, where there is not necessarily stable power, no internet connection, mm -hmm. um, hot, dusty environments which computers don't generally like. Okay. Um, so I was going to show you, I don't know if this will show up, but I was going to show you a picture you can of try and zoom on this the Let's standard sort of paper record in the field, and this is what that looks like. Uh, and this system is an attempt to improve on that. Okay, and we're talking about replacement here. We're talking about cool. moving away from paper and replacing it with electronic. That's right. So Rob, maybe I can ask, what, why, why do we need to, I mean, I think, I think What's I'm, wrong so, with the paper? I'm Yeah, I'm sold on the concept, but yes. why, why do we need to get rid of the paper and to start using electronic tools to do that job? What, what are the so benefits? So there are certain circumstances where paper perhaps doesn't work so well. So uh, paper records get damaged, they get lost, they go missing, uh, information that's key in them can be hard to access. Uh, perhaps most importantly of all in a sort of biohazard environment, if you're trying to get data out of that environment to understand what constitutes good care, it's very difficult to do that on paper. You can't take the paper out of, for example, the red zone in an Ebola treatment center. Yeah, so we come back to some and of this is the response. Last year. Yeah, okay, so it's that's a follow-up right. from this. Yeah. Uh, I also have to stress, it wasn't me that did this work. I did the evaluation of this, so I'm presenting this on behalf of the team who developed it. I don't want to take credit for it. Okay, well, big hand to them. Can you walk us through it? And yeah, so a... what you have... Um, it's going to work. Yes. In we go. It's going okay, to work. So this is your connectivity. You essentially have your home screen. Um, these are the different areas in which uh, MSF is working in, in this okay. example. And if we click on one of these... Which country are we in now? Uh, we were in Chad, in Bokoro in Chad. A nutrition okay, so you've chosen hot, in Chad. dusty, dry, <laughs> it, it difficult. It was definitely hot yeah. and dusty, yep. Um, and then this would be uh, one of the patients. You have a list of your patients in that centre. And Off we go. Here you can see, this is the home screen with the key clinical information on this patient. That's going to take probably just that area. It's going to take I'm a little minute to render. And what you can, uh, no, that's okay because this is anonymized. This isn't uh, actually good. a real oh, patient. So there's no, there. there's no we worries about patient confidentiality. Real patient data. Yeah, no, yeah. don't worry. Thank you very much um, for that. So what you can see me. on the, uh, the main screen is uh, a very clear representation of some of the key biometric signs, so respiratory rate, cardiac rate, temperature, and so on. Replacing classically what we imagined hanging on the end of a bed of a, uh, with a clipboard. That's exactly. A, yeah. And you can, uh, the, the comparisons, I guess, between the two are maybe quite striking. Mm. Um, uh, there are four key forms on this. You essentially view information on one of these forms, and then you enter for, uh, data through a number of different uh, forms. So, for example, if you wanted to enter anthropometric data, you would click to this go. form, and then you would enter it. And, um, and so um, you've tested this in chat already, and uh, what's been the feedback from the locals? Uh... So the team that used it yeah. loved using it. Do they give it back, or did you have to, you have to fight <laughs> to get it back? To wrestle it off them. Um, but, but I can feel a but. Yeah, coming. there is a but coming. The but but? Uh, the system, as is, is definitely not ready for use in the field. There are okay. a number of technical shortcomings with it that would need um, a significant amount of work to address before something like this could be deployed in an emergency, as was envisaged. So you're busy failing forward. Absolutely. And yeah. learning from the experience. I think Fantastic. purely by you being here, it shows that the team is keen to evaluate their products. Absolutely, so, and I think, which it's I think been, needs to be credited. Yeah, it's been very <laughs> brave, I think, of the team to ask. So I'm independent from the development team, and yeah, I was asked to come in and conduct yeah. a full independent evaluation. And people have been very unflinching in embracing the findings of that evaluation, which I think deserves a lot of credit. Yeah, that's cracking because I mean, yeah. this is the this is, the, uh, this is the, um, a lead on, in fact, from the Ebola yeah. tablet that's project, right. uh, uh, and yeah. uh, now it's become the Ebola. Well, it's become a full-on. A, a medical care, uh, electronic medical, uh, medical record yeah. system. It's a repurposing of the And you continue to learn, you Ebola. continue to try, uh, uh, and what, what's next then? So where are you going to try, I'm, I'm, I'm not encouraging you to fail, where are you going to uh, have a crack next? Well, I think what we've, what we've demonstrated is there was originally a number of use cases where it was felt that um, a very clear longitudinal view of individual patient data might be useful. Okay. So this sort of view, so things like cholera, Ebola, hepatitis B outbreaks. What you mean there is 
times where you want to see yesterday's information or Sorry, the day before yes. or yeah, yeah. the, the, the follow-up of You want to see the flow of how of the patient is progressing in order to improve your clinical care. And yeah. you'd have to scroll through loads of paperwork which has all been lost and... Uh, or it's or, not or, been filled out completely or, yeah, yeah. or so on. Understood. Um, so that's what, the added value. What I think yeah. we've, demon what we've clarified is the use case where that is where we think that would still provide benefit. We think probably for nutrition, which is where this was piloted, it's, uh, it's not actually mm. the right use case. In something like Ebola, where you've got biohazard, poor outcomes, mm. um, and a limited data set, something like this could be really useful. Okay, okay. great. Well, good luck. Thank uh, you. Good luck. Thank you.